guys, it's Velvet here, and today we're going to be talking about five reasons why living in community is extremely important. So we'll go over the benefits of living in community as well as the hardships, since there are many, since people are hard to live with. So stick around to find out more. Hey, what's up guys? The question of the day is, is it important to live in community? Can I just live alone? My first reason is networking. They say it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. This is extremely true. You might have a roommate that is a financial advisor that would really come in handy if you're going through a bind. Um, you might have a roommate that's a mechanic, or that knows a mechanic, or is a doctor, or is a mentor. You know, they've, they've been through something that you're going through and they can give you advice. The more people you know, the more doors that can open. So the second one is the more people we live with, the more hands there are to accomplish certain tasks. Split up the cleaning in the house, taking out the trash, cleaning the bathroom, raking the yard, shoveling the snow. You can share the bills in the house, you know, the internet bill, um, the electric bill, the water bill, and you can accomplish more together than when you're alone. When I first moved into the current living situation I'm in, I remember early on, uh, one of the ladies I live with was baking a cake for a reception she was going to, and she needed to bake a cake and like do all this other food prep. And me and two, me and one other girl jumped in to help her. And between the three of us and the six of our hands, we got the cake and all the other food knocked out in like half an hour. And you know, being able to do that saved a lot of time and stress and everything. So many hands truly do make light work. Now don't think I forgot how hard it is sometimes to communicate with people and to work together. Um, it's hard, but it's not impossible. So we'll, we'll get to uh, those risks or hardships later on in the video. The third reason is the accountability that we get from our roommates or people that we live with, our family. By the way, this can be about family, it's not just roommates. So living in a community doesn't necessarily have to be like a commune or something with a lot of people. It can just be your family, that's still community. Yeah, I find usually it's, it's when I'm alone that I'm the most vulnerable and can just form bad habits and do bad habits because, you know, there's nobody watching me or, you know, I hope there's nobody watching me. We take better care of ourselves when we live with other people and are around other people. And also, another accountability thing is like, you know, it's like when you go to a gym class versus exercising on your own. You know, I know that when I go to gym classes, one of the reasons why I love gym classes is because other people are in the class pushing me to just go a little farther, or the teacher is pushing me to just, you know, push a little harder than I would if I was by myself. So that accountability is really cool. I'm going to read from Hebrews chapter 10. Chapter 10 verse 25 is perfect for this, so, or 24 and 5. And let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another and all the more as the day approaches. I'm a lot better off now that I'm living in community with others and I'm not just feeding into the one thing that I was reading about because, you know, as you know, we can read we can research whatever side or whatever angle we want to hear about something and you know use our uh, our sources to back up whatever we're trying to prove. There's a statistic for each side of every argument. So we just have to be careful um, you know, about what we read and what we believe. And when we live with other people, you know, we can express, you know, our confusion about something or gain each other's opinions about something and it can save us from a lot of trouble. So, you know, yeah, we are very vulnerable vulnerable when we're alone. So it's good to get, you know, wise counsel from many different advisors and not just, uh, you know, lean on our own understanding because we are very easily deceived. Uh, the fourth reason why living in community is beneficial is because other people can show us uh, the areas that we need to work on. They can point things out to us that we might not necessarily 
be aware that we're doing or like, you know, bad habits that we've been forming. This is kind of a silly example, but it's true. It's very true that if you've been binge watching Netflix, like for three days straight and your roommate's like, don't you want to go outside and get some sun? I mean, just things like that is like, you know, people just, if they are coming from a loving and caring place, then it's just nice to have people looking out for us and, you know, just getting us out of our shell. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the thing is about reasons three and four, accountability and blind spots, is that it requires a decent amount of communication between you and your roommate. Relationships with people are just like uh, gardening. Um, you know, you plant the seed, you water it, and you don't just expect the plant to just grow up and bear fruit and be beautiful without having to do any work on your end. You know, it requires constant weeding out of the bad stuff, you know, pruning off of the dead leaves, and, you know, supporting the plant when it starts to lean, you know, we have to do this with people and relationships in our lives too. We can't just let things die and then not address it or like just let all these weeds come into our lives, you know, conflicts and hard conversations and everything without addressing them because otherwise the weeds and the dead things end up killing the plants. And that's, you know, when relationships die and they go down and you're like, oh man, nope, I'm cutting this person off, you know, I'm out of this relationship, I'm moving out of this house. Like, it's just sad that that you know, things get to that point, and it doesn't have to, but it is work. It is work. Living in community is work. Living with other people is hard. So it's it's hard work, but it's so rewarding and so worth it um, when you can meet those needs and just make it work. And just all the things that you can bring to the table and share with each other, you know, between the networking, the helping each other out, keeping each other accountable, and, you know, Help, helping reveal our blind spots, those those last two are um, definitely more personal and more about a loving relationship rather than a more surface level relationship with the networking, networking and the helping. But you can get to those places and when you do it's a beautiful thing. And that leads us to the last number, number five, which is um, it's more fun to live with other people and it's comforting. You know, after a hard day at work, you come home and you just want to tell somebody about your day and maybe they you know, they just, they want to listen, they have fun things to share with you, you can be a part of each other's lives, and you don't have to be so cut off, and it's really healthy to do that, and yes, it's hard, but the hardest things are often the things that are worth the most to us at the end of the day, you know, it's the work that you put into it, and then you can sit back and enjoy the hard work that you've done. So, that's all for now, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel here and check out my other videos here and check out my blog and my Instagram in the description below. Like, comment, and hope to see you soon.